Welcome to today's episode. If you guys have been following along, you know that we have been in Costa Rica with Crocodile Bay doing some fishing. So if you want to watch the fishing episode, link will be in the description box. But we're not going to come all the way to Costa Rica, specifically Puerto Jimenez. I believe I'm saying that yep, right. Yep, that sounds good. Yes, yeah, so we're going to come all the way over here and only fish. So we actually have a bit of a jungle adventure planned. We're going to be looking for some monkeys, maybe some waterfalls, maybe some wild cats. There is an unbelievable amount of wildlife here, even on the property alone. We've already seen some crocodiles on the property. So I'm really excited to actually get into the jungle and experience it. My name is Emily, Amanda's behind the camera, and welcome to our channel, Gale Forest Twins. So that truck over there is our ride for the day. And basically what we're doing is we are Excuse walking. Me. No, we're not walking. We're driving through these farm roads. Emily, would you, was that how you would describe them? That's a good way to describe it. To search for spider monkeys in the trees. Some birds. Some birds and whatever we can find. And as we go, we're gonna stop, we're gonna jump out and we're gonna learn about the wildlife we see. Because just because we're off the side of a road, we're still in the jungle, I can definitely say yeah. that. So we got a nice little river right here, and we have a puppy friend that came to say hello. Come here, puppy. I think this is the hardest part puppy. about being here is the straight dogs, <laughs> because if it were up to me, well, I'd, I'd adopt every single one. They'd all be coming home with us. You're gonna have to look really closely, but we just found some Central American squirrel monkeys. And those are like those little monkeys that fly across from one tree to the next. We see some babies, some families, and they travel in groups. Fun fact, a group of monkey is a troop. So we see an entire troop of monkeys. Look at how cute these little Central American squirrel monkeys are. And fun fact, their diet is mostly insectivores. So they're gonna be eating insects pretty much all day, every day. <laughs> that little one's gonna do it. He's great. Go for it. Guys, we have come across howler monkeys. Once again, of course, up in the trees. It's so cool. Let's check them out. Guys, the monkey you're looking at right now has a baby basically wrapped around her belly. When we first saw it, we thought it was the throat of a male monkey, but then we realized it's a baby holding on to the belly of its mommy. Fun fact about howler monkeys is that the male howler monkeys have an Adam's apple that's five times larger than the females, and that's what allows them to howl so loud and so deep. Guys, right now we are looking at a baby howler monkey. Look at him itch his ear. Isn't he cute? Okay, so these howler monkeys are the most common monkey you will find in Costa Rica. And just from our short journey, we can clearly see that they, they're pretty much everywhere. Now these guys are herbivores. So these monkeys are eating leaves. That's pretty much what their diet consists of. Leaves, maybe some fruit, but they're not insectivores like the Central American squirrel monkeys. They are herbivores, so they are gonna have a plant-based diet. Squirrel monkeys, howler monkeys. Let's go see what else we can find. You ready, Amanda? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Monkey species number three. I am squid brain. Spider monkeys. Spider monkeys. They're spider monkeys. Black-handed black spider monkeys. So their hands so are black. So let's go check these guys out. So we've got black-handed spider monkeys. There's our guide, Diego. Now, these spider monkeys are famous for swinging from branch to branch. As you can see, they love to do as they swing from palm frond to palm frond. We've got some babies hanging around, having a good time. Looks like everyone's enjoying their dates today. And we've got a little baby spider monkey hanging around on the branches next to mom. Now, it's clear these guys don't like to leave mom too soon. Okay, guys, got a couple of pretty cool facts about these monkeys. So their thumbs, big words here, are atrophiated, also called a vestigial 
thumb, which that means that you can't see their thumb. It is there, but it is actually like underneath their skin. So you can feel it, but you can't see it. So they have five fingers, but only four of them are really sticking out. And that is so when they drop from branch to branch, their thumbs don't get caught. So they have four really long fingers that can catch them on the branches and their thumbs stay out of the way. You can see this guy is eating the dates from the palm tree, having a great time. And they can only eat the outside of the date. They don't eat the seeds, they're just eating the outside. And these guys eat 90% fruit. Something else we've learned about all of these monkeys actually is a, they will have a bare spot on their tail. Just like how you have the palm of your hand and the bottoms of your feet, they'll have something similar on their tail. Just from swinging from branch to branch and using their tail as really it's another limb. It's like a hand to them. Guys, you know it's a big deal when your guide starts freaking out. So we were driving in the truck and an anteater was crossing the road. And Diego goes, Ant Eater, Ant Eater, hurry, and hurry, hurry, get out, get out. So we <laughs> leaped out of the truck, and now we're taking close up shots of an Ant Eater. Apparently, these guys are incredibly rare. You don't get to see them that often. So I feel very lucky to have found an Ant Eater in the wild for the first time ever. And to be honest, he looks like a panda bear to me, a reverse panda bear, <laughs> white with black instead of the other way around. There he is, looking for his ants looking for his dinner. Very unafraid of for, for an animal very, being rare. Yeah, for unafraid. a rare animal. He definitely a huge is not spider. worried about us. I know, there are some massive spiders out here as well. Look there at him. He is. He's eating. Eating ants. He found the ants on the log. Our ant eater is eating ants. Emily, did you get the shot? I got the shot. Emily got the shot. Next stop, a waterfall. Are you ready? Yep, we're going for a hike. This is our guide Diego to Hello, the waterfall. We're leaving the truck behind and we're actually gonna go hiking now. It's supposed to be a semi-difficult hike is what we've heard. That's why we're bringing the GoPros. Update, we had an option between the easy route and the difficult route and we picked the difficult route. It's still only supposed to be a 10 minute hike though. We can already hear the river right down to my right and there's our guide I swear I just walked through a spider web all right go making our way got to keep up speedy. he is speedy here we go here's the river and the stream so we can see it so obviously we're making our way towards the waterfall so nice and slow okay don't fall here we go there's the river Okay guys, Diego's crazy. He said the whole point of climbing is to get wet. So keeping our boots dry at this point is not the goal. Look at her go. Alrighty, my turn. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. oh. Ah! Ah! We made it! <laughs> Alright, not quite at the top. We're already getting winded. Making our way up. And on our journey up, we're actually going to use my hands, keeping an eye out for poisonous dart frogs. I don't know if we're going to see and one. Snakes. And snakes, yes. And snakes. So we're keeping an eye out for all that as we make our way crossing the stream time and time again, trying not to fill our boots with water, which there we go, Emily just filled her boot. Really? Wow. That's impressive. There you go. You can do it. I have faith in you. Nice job. All right, now wait for me. Yeah. <coughs> Whoa. Good luck. <laughs> the tricky one. There we go. Added three rocks to it. Emily, you gotta add a rock. <laughs> Here. You can put your rock down low too, though, if you want. Well, this one, it's a little guy. All right, Yay! perfect. <laughs> Let's continue on.
here we are at the top of the waterfall. <laughs> Back down we go, and this is a different view. We are now above the water. It's kind of eerie and scary if you think about it. Here you go, check it out. It's a long way down. Making our way, making our way down. Emily's getting a tattoo of leaf spores. Ready? There we go. <laughs> First tattoo. How do you First feel? First tattoo ever. Oh, I'm oh. getting a second one. Are you get oh, oh, there we go. Oh, We're gonna really black. see it. <laughs> there we go. There this is like a Christmas tree. Let's continue on our hike down. I get it. Here, do one of these. Like, touch. touch. There you go. Touch it. There they go. We hope you guys had an awesome time coming with us on the jungle adventure and waterfall hike. I don't know about you, but I think that was incredible. If you guys want any details, they will be linked in the description box. We hope you get out there, have fun, and stay safe.